here's the thought. People will always see something before they hear it, usually. Like, I guess you could hear a song on the radio before you know who it is, but usually you see an image or a video or a clip of something before you hear it and actually like take in the lyrics and learn what it's all about. So you have a very short window to get the person's attention and it has to be done visually. And it kind of sucks, you know, cause what I do, I wouldn't consider myself a visual artist. I just consider myself a songwriter, but I guess it's, it's not that it sucks. It's just a fun challenge of like, you have to, everything that you're doing with your songs and your concepts and your albums, you have to bring them to life visually. And there's no other way. I don't think you could just get up there and fucking day close and say, yep, my, this is my concept. Like, no, you have to match your visuals to what it is you're doing. If not, you will fail. And that's something I haven't done at all yet. Some of the ideas I have are to, uh, basically I wanna be like a scholar punk, whatever that means. And it has to be futuristic too. So like a scholar punk rebel from the 2070s. So I need some sort of backpack school attire that's modified of some kind. I need a collar that says scholar on it. That's very specific. I want to light myself up more and I want to write words on a lot of my equipment. There's also a color scheme of silver and purple that I really want to start doing. So did I just say fucking purple, bro? <laughs> Orange. Fuck purple. I got to get more creative visually with my live show. I think lights are a cool thing. Like I want to light up my body. I wanna paint all my gear silver with orange accents, uh, paint my guitar as well and write words all over it. So that's what I'm thinking about. Too many fake friends, and when I say fake friends, what I mean is that they are not